Hey, that was a quick uh, cut. What? Yeah, we don't need all that frilly stuff. <laughs> oh, none of that frilly stuff. Welcome to Stuck in Beta. I'm Greg. These guys are Josh. <laughs> and Josh. <laughs> we have new toys. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to be the little uh, the soundboard guy. Like a I little kid. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to annoy it's going to annoy the crap out of us in about five minutes. <laughs> well, the, the, it. the goal is to annoy Greg so this never comes back. <laughs> He's going to download. And stuff. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Where do I? Because we're talking about some of that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it's your uh, show about nothing, <laughs> right? <laughs> what was wow. that from? I don't know. <laughs> that was actually from the, t- the, the TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube channel. You need to mute your laptop. Okay, for some reason the YouTube chat isn't coming up there, so Really? That was a bad idea. Oh man. Oh, just well, reach it just over take it off. There you go. Okay. So, anyway, uh this week uh you guys do anything uh fun and exciting this we week? We went to the hibachi place for dinner Sunday night. The hibachi place. In Arnold. Yeah, the ding a ding a ding you know where they cook The ding a ding a ding a. Yeah. Well, I went bowling. Thanks, thanks for the <laughs> you asked if we did anything. Oh, that's okay. what we did. I did absolutely nothing. I went to Sam's and Costco. Oh, yeah, Sam's no. and Costco. Yeah. That's some that's serious stocking day. up. Well, you know. That's some serious bulk. Sometimes you need <laughs> need paper plates at one place and toilet paper at the other. You, know? you can't wow. buy that at the same place? It's a dollar cheaper. If you <laughs> Jesus, you probably spent that in gas. They're like a half mile away from each other. Still. But you have to pay for that's membership at both, right? Well, that's already bought. Oh, the sunk cost. Yeah. And I mean, sunk what are you going to do? Cost. Wow. So that's the highlight of your <laughs> That really is the hi- huh? Oh, so, no, actually, this weekend, I... I Actually, I tried watching um, Sausage Party, that oh, Seth yeah. Rogen movie. Yeah. Man, that is... It's just bad. Is it like extreme crude humor? <laughs> it's it, yeah, it's very crude. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that. I mean, I mean, I could take that stuff. I'm not, I'm not approved yeah, by yeah, any, yeah, right. but, but I mean, holy crap! But if it's, it's f it, this, f that, and then done, I'm yeah. gonna, you know, I'm banging this. Pretty much the whole movie is about food, doing it. Like that's really. It's yeah. not like innuendo. Wow. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, innuendo, and they right. want to, the one wants to, the hot dog wants to get in the bun. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, there's some, but, like, 12-year-olds wrote this movie, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. They were definitely high when they wrote oh, this movie. Oh, he says, it, the interviews, he said he was Oh, yeah, high. definitely. Hmm. I mean, it is... It is the most messed up. I'm like, what did I just watch? So you said you tried to watch it? Did you not finish Actually, it? Actually, I did finish it. Oh. But um, the whole time, I'm like, why am I watching this? And, you know, I'm doing other things. I look up, and I'm like, what is going... You know, it, the whole movie was yeah, a bunch of, uh, what the, you know... I have no interest in seeing that. Yeah, I already so can't say I do. The funny thing is, my uh, Molly's, Molly's mom... Uh, was looking for a movie for her ne- her uh, grandkids too. Oh no. oh no! Luckily she didn't. But she goes, I thought it'd be an animated movie about food or something. <laughs> I'm like, no, you did not. <laughs> you did not let them see. No, no, I didn't watch it. But wow! Like wow, that would have been like a like immediately like where's the remote? You know, I bet well, that's happened though. Well, that's like that couple that we saw at Deadpool when Annette and I went and saw Deadpool, that couple oh, yeah. next to us that brought like a five year old with yeah. them and the mom's throwing the coat over the kid's head and really? running out the theater. Yeah. So speaking of that, I got a funny kind of similar situation that happened to us over the weekend. I'd been saying for a while that I wanted to watch some of the other uh, Marvel uh, superhero shows on Netflix. Yeah. And we've been wanting to watch New- Luke Cage for a while, and it came out, I think, like last August. Yeah, it's been out. Right. Yeah. It was, yeah, during the summer sometime. And we never watched Jessica Jones yet, but um, I thought, well, we were looking for something that was like uh just you know something that we could we could watch as a family <laughs> that was a mistake so have you guys watched luke cage i haven't no. watched i watched jessica jones and that's a little more it's you know it it's yeah comic in the comic book world but it's a lot more darker harder pg-13 right. than 
a lot of Marvel stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I mean, I guess I don't know. Are they ra- are they rated on Netflix? Do they have ratings on there? Is it mature? That's a good question. I don't know. I, so I don't think so. So we pulled up the first episode, and from the beginning, we really liked it. Like it was, uh, it, it seemed like we we really liked the character a lot. He's yeah, he's big. in Jessica. You meet him in Jessica. Oh, Jones. really? Yeah. Uh-huh. So he's he's a really like uh, you know kind of soft spoken, laid back, huge guy that yeah. you know, nobody's messing with. And then you find out more as the character develops. But so we're watching it and. At the like opening scene, they're in this barber shop, and and the guys are like cutting up or whatever, and one of them uses a swear word. I can't remember what it was, and the, the main barber uh, says, <clears throat> "Look at the sign," and it says "no uh, no swearing." Hit the swear jar or something like that. So he's like, "Oh man!" So he's putting money in the swear jar. So that I mean, from the beginning, there's like no swearing. So it goes on, and, you know, in the mo- in the show, we're really like getting into it, and about halfway through. All of a sudden, Luke Cage's character hooks up with this chick from the street, and they go back to his place, and they're like, I mean, they get naked. Like, all the way. And we're really? like, oh, and the boys are all, all my boys are sitting there, and we're like, go hide your faces. And Nudity I'm, and everything? It, if it wasn't, if you couldn't see 100%. It was like the perfect shadow. I mean, it was they were down. Because Jessica Jones was a lot of like sex in it. Really? Yeah. Huh. I I forwarded through that part and then um, and then <laughs> so but just, you went yeah. you went back later and watched you it, right? a little faster <laughs> no 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 I just I, I, yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. so so we're watching a little bit more and then um, another scene comes up and they're in like a strip club and it's like total like you know nudity and we're like and my wife's going would you you know she's like hiding the boys' faces and she's like will you fast forward and my phone I was doing it I was casting for my phone and it wouldn't. It wouldn't detect the signal to forward again. Oh so, no! <laughs> yeah, so we're just watching it. I'm like, oh man, this is a bad idea. But see, that's what I was saying. I don't know that there's like a rating on on those things. Maybe there is. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't I need know to look if, into that. if Netflix has to adhere to. Wait, it's not MPAA, is it? It's. Uh, uh, I would think they just out of <clears throat> like that would be MPAA. something they would do. Though. Maybe it's on there. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it anywhere. Like you know, as the show starts, or because they have obviously all the movies, they have the right. ratings. Right. But then again, there's a lot of stuff that's unrated that you'll get. And well, and and Luke Cage is technically a, I say TV show, but a, a series, right? It's not a movie. Right. It's a series. It's a yeah. series. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but like TV series shows are rated. I mean, they get mature. Well, like, or, right. Like. Sopranos, Westworld, right. all those types. I mean, they're HBO shows, so there's going to be nudity in them, right. you know? I yeah. don't know. I don't know. So, it's, yeah, it's one, I had one of those awkward moments. And, and it's like it's harder. It's becoming harder and harder to find the shows that we can watch as a family that we all, like, have an interest in. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's either cartoons <clears throat> on Disney Channel or... <laughs> no, we're, we're beyond that. See, we're in that middle range where it's like, what do we find that's not... That's, that's age appropriate, but not lame. Yeah, but not lame. And it's hard <laughs> to do. There's not like the the sitcoms like there used to be. Although you found that they were having a, a return of um, yeah, uh, uh, one day at a time. One day at a time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, on, it's it's back on. Yeah. It's on right now. Yeah, I yeah. saw it yesterday. You need to check there. that out. I'm looking forward. There's actually a show on Amazon coming, but that's probably the same way it's gonna be. Yeah, pretty dirty. It's uh, by Brian Cranston, um, called Sneaky Pete. Yeah, it's Giovanni yeah. BC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched the pilot for it, but mm. now the series is oh, okay. the rest of it's coming. It's good. The first up, you know, the pilot is really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so. that looks good. But, mm. um, man, over the weekend, I was like. Uh, I watched uh, Ferris Bueller and Office Space, both Fer- of those movies. Ferris Bueller was on broadcast TV last night. Was it? Yeah. Like, did you ever hear that theory about uh, Ferris Bueller where Cameron, it's actually Cameron, um, Ferris Bueller is in Cameron's head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Ferris Bueller is just a, I guess kind of like um, Fight, Club. Fight Club. Fight yeah. Club. Where the the spoilers <laughs> if you haven't watched either right. one of these movies uh 
the Ed what the Ed Brad Pitt character is really a, in Ed Norton's yeah. head, right? Figment of it's, yeah. It's, it's like a, it's uh, really just him split personality. Yeah. Right? yeah. But if you kind of watch that movie with that thinking, you're yeah. kind of like, hey, this is kind of it, it. It makes it a little weird. But then then you're like. But that doesn't make any sense. No. Why would the principal yeah. be going after to this house and that? You know. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good movie. That yeah, that's a classic. I remember seeing that. I would was home school home <clears throat> from school sick and watched that for the first time. What a coincidence, huh? Yeah, that's what yeah. he does in the movie. Yeah, well, my kids love that movie. Actually, that's one of those movies that's kind of timeless. You it, know, yeah. it definitely holds up. Yeah. Well, that and Breakfast Club. I mean, those, the the um, John Hughes, John Hughes movies. Yeah. Man, um, Goonies isn't that a? That's Spielberg. Oh. Uh, you know, I never, I never knew this, but uh, I don't know if it was after you brought something else up about John Hughes a few weeks ago, and I and I looked him up, and I didn't, I never realized like how he was so incredibly. Um, successful like i guess it was like in his 20s and 30s and then he just basically like went into after i think it was when john candy died he went into like seclusion and really yeah and he never like he wasn't seen for like i don't know it was like 10 or 20 years wow and really? he didn't do anything and then he eventually died of a heart attack as well like john candy did like they were really good friends and he like went into deep depression <laughs> after john candy died i never knew that I I never heard that either. All those sh- all those movies were done, you know, just within within a short period of time, like yeah. a, uh, fifteen years or something, give or take. Hmm. It it's crazy the amount of work he has in yeah. a short period of time. You know, it's kind of, it it really it really is. I think he had like there were two a year on some years. Was it? You yeah, know, I'm sure. Because I mean, he there were so many in the '80s and early '90s. Early 90s. You know, yeah, they're classics. I yeah, mean, they're all good. So what, why were you watching those? What what brought you to just kick on a couple old? So, I don't know. I just I just yeah. felt like putting something. You know, sometimes you just want to go to familiar, and it <laughs> makes you feel at home, <laughs> right? You, feel, you makes okay? You feel all warm inside. It makes you feel all warm. <laughs> what was, was a little chilly out? You so know? office space. What did you you kicked on office space too? That, that, that yeah. That, I mean that one. <clears throat> it's funny because. That is a movie I could totally relate to. Yeah. Like, there's so many things in that. Like, the oh, somebody's got a case of the Mondays, and yeah. you know, s- stuff like that. The stupid things that people say, and that's another one that still holds up. Yeah, some of the technology's right. older, but but it definitely holds up as well. I always wondered how he was so creative with that movie, or how he got to be. Uh, uh, Mike Judge, I mean, like, how did he know like all that stuff? Did he spend like a year in, a, in an office environment to like a, get fam- familiarize himself with all that stuff? Because you wouldn't know that if you didn't work in that environment, like all that. He had to uh, because I I don't know his background, yeah. but I, Beavis and Butthead was his, right. and that was like I, I'm that seemed like one of his like just little garage projects exactly, or whatever yeah. that he did on his computer you that's know? true maybe he yeah. so i'm sure he was in the office Had environment real... for for yeah. a long time hmm. so hughes really hit it big in 83 national lampoon's vacation then mr mom 16 candles breakfast club european vacation weird science pretty in pink ferris bueller some kind of wonderful planes trains automobiles great outdoors uncle buck christmas vacation home alone uh, and then it kind of went downhill from there. See, I'd say about all the I didn't really like the great outdoors, but about every one, about every other one of those, I really enjoy. Yeah, so you're talking it was about a 12 year period right there. From '83, Great Outdoors was in '88. Christmas Vacation was '89. Uh, Home Alone was '90 ish. So oh, not even seven years. Yeah, wow, not even. Man, hmm. thank you, IMDb. <laughs> so uh i hear you uh remodel the bathroom no i had a funny story to share with you guys oh, co-worker um, I, I yeah i didn't remodel it so this lady i work with she um we've worked together for like six years and i don't know some years ago she had 
told me that I guess I must have been talking about doing work at my house or whatever and she was saying that uh, she was making kind of references like oh I wish my husband would do this or that and uh, maybe she was hitting on you no no and then she she told me that her uh, she had a bathroom in her house that she didn't use at all that they didn't use that they basically had closed the door to and like shut off the water that, that they didn't use because it had been leaking one of the pipes had been leaking and it leaked down to their basement and they couldn't figure out the cause of it. They hired, they they had a plumber come in and give them an estimate, and he was saying that they that he needed to cut into the drywall and you know do all this stuff, and it was going to be like pretty expensive. I don't know exactly how much, but from what she, the way she said it, it sounded like it was going to be several thousand dollars. So they moved into this house like uh, 15 years ago, and whenever they moved in, it was like an upstairs bathroom, and they never then they never. Uh, they never used it because they didn't have any kids at the time. And then when her kids got older, <clears throat> then they, that's when they started using it. And and it start, they started having the leak. So, again, this was like 15 years ago. Huh. And they assumed that the previous owner knew about it because whenever they went for the inspection, she claims that there was somebody in the bathroom, like, using the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so that they couldn't do an inspection on the bathroom. So oh, sorry, all, in here. Wow. Yeah. So Occupado. All, all the while... So they had this leak, they couldn't find the the cause of it, and all the while they were thinking that this the previous somebody owner, in the bathroom? no, the previous owner knew about it and didn't <laughs> disclose it. So, you know, months turned into years, and before you know it, it's like 15 years later. Well, she's like gotten so fed up with it that she finally is like, we her kids are like, I don't know, like 14 and 11, and she's like, we could really use that extra bathroom. Like, we gotta fix this and her husband kept saying we're not going to spend that kind of money we got this other bathroom it's not a big well, deal how much are they talking I, it, I at the time i thought you know a few thousand dollars but then i told her i'm like why don't you just get it fixed and i mean it'll be like it, you'll get past it you know I mean, yeah you just set the money aside or whatever so finally she she called around and got a couple of plumbers uh the guy comes out and he has them like he says okay well save some money you can cut some of these holes in the drywall so i can access it and look back so they did all that. They, he thought he found some uh, something wrong with like the toilet flange and that that was causing the leak and it was going down in the basement. So they did all that, fixed everything, got everything back up and it was only you know a few hundred dollars. Uh, got everything up, started testing it. There was water leaking down in the basement again. Huh. And they're like, oh my, the guy's like, I can't believe this. I don't, I, I see no other signs of a leak anywhere. So they, they kept looking around and come to find out in the around the corner in the daughter's bathroom daughter's closet that had 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 butted up to the bathroom when they moved in he put in some shelves in that closet oh no and drilled and drilled into the closet oh like it hit a water line and hit it, well it hit the uh hit the drain lines and that caused the so leak. So it's his oh fault. Oh my god. <laughs> his fault. <laughs> and so so then that guy like fixed that and then she she so she goes home and uh he says, yeah, I can't, it must have been those previous owners. He still wouldn't take ownership of her. She's like, she's calling, she's like, I can't believe he wouldn't own up to it. But it was clearly, he used like these three inch or four inch screws or whatever to hold up this like closet organizer oh, that they put into the closet like 15 four years ago. Four inch screws. So, I mean, it's just like, wow. I, it got me thinking like, have you guys ever lived with something like for that long that just turned out to be like, it was an inconvenience, but it turned into be like, turned out to be something really simple yeah. yeah the one thing that came to my mind was uh we went for years without a dishwasher and oh i remember yeah we were doing dishes by hand for years and i even had i even called a guy to come out because it quit it quit cleaning basically after about three years and we had hard huh. water issues and all that but we were putting clr in there and everything else and it would not circulate right well enough to clean the dishes it wouldn't rinse them off they'd have soap on them and everything I had this old man come out and he's like, well, this is this is all this stuff's made in China." You know, he had a, just a really horrible attitude. He pulled out, looked at the motor. He's like, "These things are crap," you know. And he he was carrying on, and I mean, it cost me like over a hundred dollars, and he didn't even fix it. And it was like several you more. Paid for him to be crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> several more years went by, and and I like started looking up on. And this is when I I guess first started looking up using YouTube to start fixing things. This is probably like two thousand. I don't know, 10, 9, 10, something like that. And 
fi- found out, figured out that there's a filter in there, and if that filter gets clogged, then oh. it it won't circulate the water. Right. I pulled all that apart, and yeah, there was like a huge chunk of paper in there for whatever reason, and cleaned all that up, and you know, it's been working fine ever since. <laughs> and so I don't know. I, th- I just thought that was kind of funny. I don't know if anybody else has experienced anything like that. Man, but. I'm sure I have. I just can't think of one offhand. But the one thing that that I think you guys, well, it's almost an insult, really. But the guy, her husband's a IT director. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. But you two guys are kind of in that field. I don't know if you're. Uh, don't that, know what you're what talking are you about. saying? <laughs> We're geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> I never use a four inch screw no. in. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was a funny story. Good story. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, we, don't, we need a good story audio for our mixer here. What? We need something like that. Good story. <laughs> what? <laughs> good story. What else do we got? <laughs> Ding. What do you got on the... Uh, what do you have? Golden Globes for Sunday. Yeah. Anybody watch them? Man, I never watch that no. kind of stuff. Really? Board no. shows are pretty boring. Yeah. You don't watch it for the fashion? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Once in a while, like, the host is good. But even Jimmy Fallon, they said his... I mean, they played some of his jokes. They were extremely watered down. Yeah, the opening was okay. I mean, you got to admit, I was kind of excited for Jimmy Fallon to host because he's pretty funny. Yeah. You know, um, his open was okay, but everything else throughout the show was pretty lame that he did. Um, But I will say the, the popular fashion of the year was extremely low cut... Deep, they call them deep V dresses. Okay. Uh, Kristen Bell. I'm a fan. Kristen Bell had had one, and wow. that's her. her Gosh, well, you like should have had me pull that up. It's like down to her belly button. Yeah. That is that is nice. And of course, I got yelled at for commenting on <laughs> gawking, <her dress. laughs> drooling. <laughs> and then Kaylee Cuoco was another oh, one. Oh my. Uh, she posted on Instagram or Twitter a picture Gosh. of herself getting ready for mm-hmm. the Golden Globes, putting the dress on and stuff, and it was more or less a selfie in this pose with her her globes hanging out <laughs> and she she even said this the caption under the photo on instagram on her instagram feed was uh going to the golden globes with my globes hanging out it's like wow well you're at least yeah. you admit it um and there's reese with it hers weren't quite as uh yeah on display she's a little more classy um but that brings up uh la la land one for best picture and won a crap ton of awards um so, it, have you guys? You haven't seen La La Land yet, have you? No. It's, it's kind of that musical. Yeah. That's hot right now. Did you know in was it 1995 that the movie Babe was up for Best Picture award? Was that which one's that? that Is that the John pig. Goodman? Uh, pig, oh. Yeah. Yeah, the pig movie. <laughs> Did he play Babe, Babe Ruth, Ruth or something? Yeah. Did Wasn't he? There? Yeah, it was called. I thought it was called the Babe. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. No, this was that. Talking Pig movie. Really? Yeah, it was up for Best Picture. Hmm. In 95, not this year. Uh, but that's all I got. I don't know if you showed them or not. No, I, right. could, I couldn't find them. All right. And my, my remote's not working anymore. So we're halfway through. Do we want to do a snack? Okay. Do you, should I hit the button? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> go just ahead. itching to hit the button. That's I know. <laughs> I like pecans too. <laughs> so, uh, Molly, Molly went to this place. Uh, I don't even know. I'm, I'm assuming it's at the mall or something called Lolly and Pops. Parent, they have all sorts of candies and stuff. And she actually picked these up for me. Um, they're gummy jalapenos. Are they supposed Ooh. to be spicy? They're gonna be spicy. Really? Uh-oh. Have you had one? I have not had one, but uh, Molly said they can be a little spicy. Really? Oh. Yeah. Um, they are the purveyors of sweetness. So, <laughs> if you want to take, they look more like chili peppers than yeah, jalapenos. They, yeah, they're red and green. Hey, you want to grab one out there? Oh, well, yeah, they're long. Man, hey, yeah, man. they look like uh, chili peppers. I agree. Like a, like Mike would find these in New Mexico or something. 
They smell good. So. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. Holy! Wow! Crap. We pop the whole thing. A, we're gonna need a drink. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I may not be able to eat this. Well. Wow. Too late for me. Man. <laughs> It's, that is hot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Boy, I've got some inside. heat to it. My God. <laughs> hmm. Wow. So. I'm not eating the second one. Whew. I'll take that home and give it to Annette. She'll eat that. So the funny Ooh. thing is, it's got the sweetness. It does have the sweetness. But my oh. God, it is on fire. Oh, yeah, my throat. Yeah. <sighs> It hangs in the back of your throat, and it's like... Oh, man. It's eating through your esophagus yeah. or something, man. Here it, comes the nose running. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Greg. That was a great snack. <coughs> my tongue's on fire. <laughs> uh, it didn't wow. get in my tongue. Got the back of my throat. Me bad. too. Yep, that's so I, bad. Yeah, I think we tried to swallow it fast to get it Must over been, with, yeah. and that's where Oh, I was chewing out. it. Whew. Thanks, Molly. Oh, man. Well, you know... Molly and Pops. They have, Molly and what Pops. What do they have? Uh, is it our specialty? Uh, the very sweetest gift, it says. I don't know. Their website doesn't... Confections. Oh, okay. oh there are some truffles, right? Yeah. So apparently the there there was a couple of girls Ooh. that were bored that worked there. Man, that is hot. Yeah, it, it just, it just stays, stays with you. It, it's not leaving. No. It's, uh, I'm worried about six hours from now what that's going to happen. <laughs> Feel like it's yeah, like that's not going to be pleasant. There's, <laughs> yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's the, it, if it hangs on this long coming out, who it, there's going to it's going to be bad. <laughs> and I've got Whoa. jury duty. Shit, I'm going to be at a courthouse <laughs> dealing with that. Do you need something to drink? Yeah, I do. Yeah, get a beer. <clears throat> what are we drinking today? I don't. Okay. You got a big well, beer? You got a big a big beer? Wow. Big beer? I don't know. Well, big bottle. Whatever. Woo. It's time for beer. So, um, pull pulling up this uh, this website, I it reminded me of another website that I've. You want to do that IPA that has a... I know you don't like IPAs, but... Can we hear you on the, yeah, uh, I can on hear the show ears, from way yeah. over there? That's where the dogs hang out when it's bring your dog to studio. Yeah. So pulling up that website for Lolly and Pops reminded me of... Because it had a similar format as pulling up this other website. Greg's, uh, Greg's personal website. I pulled it up earlier today. It's not wanting to load, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's not. It's low. Oh, here it comes. And... Uh, because my wife told me that we were supposed to supply some pictures of ourselves for the wedding party. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. So I pulled it up and at first I saw this and there's a picture. You got, I guess you got some pictures of you guys on there. Yeah. And they're nice pictures. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I'm scrolling down and it says, uh, it says that Greg and Molly are engaged oh, to probably. get married, and and I and I keep scrolling, and, and you know there's pictures of Greg and Molly, and then it says read our story. Well, don't read our story. <laughs> it's in like <laughs> Japanese it's in or some something. Other language. Yeah, I started reading, and like, that's not Greg and Molly. No, I well, didn't. That's but I didn't notice that at first. I scrolled down here, and I didn't even notice this picture, and it says divided so seasons without creature over behold our doesn't <laughs> it greatest seed mail brought evening bring herb mail don't get first can't his so, berry. Okay. I'm like, what the hell? I uh, who brought, does this Molly? Is this some kind of like famous quote by? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking at it, and then I'm scrolling down. I'm like, what? Who are these people? <laughs> what have you done with my friends? So, <laughs> so our wedding. So I used a template, obviously, and I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, I see it goes to like web, nus dot biz. Or yeah. Something. But uh, anyway, I thought that was funny. It caught me off guard. I was truly surprised so this beer i've been cellaring for over a year 65 really? days Whoa. Ooh. Man. how you like that it caught me off guard what's the Whoa, date put a glass under it no it's not coming out it was looking like it was going to is this the enjoy by enjoy by uh oh wow shit. is this the um it is the enjoy or enjoy after ten thirty one sixteen. Oh wow! Wow. So I've had this over a year, and this has some is this the head to it. The Brett 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 IPA. Yeah. Ooh, Brett I kind of like Brett. So 
Maybe it won't be too hoppy. I gave you a lot of... Never it's mind, I'm not going to say it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <clears throat> Nothing. Yeah, 65 days until the wedding. Yeah. It's I'm coming. getting nervous. Yeah. So we were we were uh, actually trying to... I don't know if we want to get into this on the show, but we were trying to plan it. I think it's a great topic. Okay, so well... Wedding update. We need wedding yeah. update music on the on the... Well, you're the you're the sound man. There's now. nothing on here. You uh, gotta put on the '70s okay thing or whatever. Right. Wedding music. Hang on, I gotta come, Josh. It'll hold it. Okay. Down. So, have you tried this beer? I have not yet. <laughs> Polka. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, that's our wedding update music. What, what's going on, Josh? Well, so um, should we put this on the? Sh- it's not supposed to be secret or anything is it bachelor well no party. no just bachelor party type oh, okay. stuff so you yeah. should see the stripper we have <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well yeah i it's a dude <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's not a whole lot to report other than we were just trying to like brainstorm what to do and where to go and um who to invite and all that sort of thing so i mean more information to come not quite there yet i guess i kind of like I, I swear, like, a, it, time is flying by. Like, over the holidays, Molly said, oh, there's 80 days left, or whatever it was. I don't even remember. Now yeah. it's 65. Like, where did those 15 days yeah. go? Yeah. And so, I don't know. I'm probably making a bigger deal out of it than I, or stressing about it, I should say, more than I, more than I should be. But this guy is my right-hand man, for sure, and is helping I'm me out. <laughs> Is what he this say- guy is what the he's best saying, man. What he's saying is, I'm planning it, and he's look at what we did. <laughs> Behind every look best at- man, <laughs> there's a better man. Yeah, right. No, behind every best man, there's a better man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get t-shirts made. <laughs> We're all gonna wear them. It's gonna have hit, yeah. but you're gonna tell him to make them. <laughs> yeah, gonna have yeah that face. won't happen because I am not artsy. It's, it's no. not gonna happen because it wasn't his idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You ask for my help, you better damn well take the, my suggestion. The right, better Rick? man's bachelor party. Yeah. Yeah, the better man. Presented by Best the better man. man. Oh, the better man. I don't know. <laughs> but we were, we were, I, do you know what the ladies are doing for the bachelorette party? Is that a surprise? Does Molly know? Or I don't, I don't Best know. Best not talk about it then. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. I don't I'll, think they're doing much of anything. I, Maybe going to paint or something. I know very little. So Lori comes home from this bridesmaids uh, meeting. <laughs> By the way, we haven't had a meeting. <laughs> well, I was like, on really? Facebook. We chatted. Yeah. We're I was fine. like, is this a thing? And so she goes to this meeting. She comes home with all this information. And I'm like, a binder. Oh, man. A binder. <laughs> <laughs> and she starts telling me dates that we have like to do this and do that. I'm like, what? I didn't realize that the, the, the. I don't have anything. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was a there was a uh, the rehearsal dinner and the rehearsal are on different time ta- different dates. Oh, Mike says it's. Or I'm sorry, Molly says it's not a secret. About uh, I'm assuming she's referring to the bachelorette party. Mike says he wants to try these, the hot ass. I'll ship gummies. you one. Is wow. there a lollipop near you, lolly and pops near you? Uh, oh man! And Molly says it lit her lip on fire. It it burned a hole in my throat. Yeah. Anyway, continue with your uh, the binder and uh, interviews and memorization for the best. <laughs> it wasn't that far in depth, but yeah, there was a lot of information that was shared, and I don't know if I'm sure Molly knows all this information. I want to s- believe that Greg knows all this information, but I'm confident that Greg hasn't shared all this information. <laughs> I'm. 80, he may not know all 80% this information. Greg doesn't know the information. <laughs> I let everyone know they're supposed to get their their <laughs> tuxes. There's yeah. tux suits yeah, you or whatever. Yeah, suits. <laughs> suits. You're supposed to get your fancy clothes. on. <laughs> <laughs> get your church clothes on. Go to men's <laughs> warehouse. Tell them my name. I think, no, name. I think we need to. Did you already do it? Oh yeah, he wants to do this as a group. Yeah, I thought oh. it'd be fun. Just, I mean, uh, I've already done it, but I oh. go with you. You just want to see you what pants sh- size we wear. That's, <laughs> That's right. You want to share an Annie Ann's pretzel? <laughs> <laughs> goes up one side, moves it over, goes up the other side. <laughs> That's, That's how they do it, right? That's not how they do it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anyway, we'll have fun. Well, it, March 11th was the date that we decided if that'll work out well. Should we ask him his preference on the two? 
three themes. Three themes? Sure. Pirates. Okay. I've forgotten them all already. Not so. themes, but <laughs> agendas. Mermaids. Craft brewery hopping. Okay. Uh, Milo's bochi court and hanging That's out there. That's always fun. Uh, I don't know if the go-kart thing was really an option, but... Yeah. That'd probably be expensive. It is expensive. <clears throat> Milo's would be cool. We but could do Josh a little said, of both, Josh even said, with Milo's. He's the bachelor, he's the uh, best man. He's paying for everything. No, I did not say that. You said, "Don't I have to pay I for everything?" Sure. Well, I wasn't sure. I, wasn't. I said, you know, know, "Yes, yes." You do. <laughs> and, then, and then he says, "Oh, great!" Then we're getting uh, what did you say? Like frozen pizza and paper plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did say that. A case of Bush and. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. no, no, no. I one, brought <laughs> one tall boy for everybody to split. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's got a bag of pretzels. Anyone got a bowl? Oh, well. <laughs> they were already open. Yeah. <laughs> they were already open. <laughs> Clancy's. It's not it's not about what we do, it's that we're together. Oh, okay. We're 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 sharing each other's company. That's the important thing. I bet you could use a cold boy. <laughs> <laughs> Want to sit? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Now, speaking of beer, this is a very different beer. I don't even really taste the bread in it. Do you? I I kind of do. It's got that more almost sour type <clears throat> flavor to it. I think that's what the bread dynamics. It's not are. real hoppy. I don't think. No, I think it's kind of floral. Like that's what I'm getting. Of course, my taste buds are burning. Yeah, off they're kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of screwed up, but yeah, it's got a yeah. To me, it's more that floral aroma and taste. I don't, yeah, I definitely don't get any hoppiness. It's not a bad beer yeah, for being different. aged as hell. So it was drink by so, it. So I 31st. got that in October of oh, uh, drink by no drink after. Yeah, Enjoy drink after. after. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I got that. Yeah, it was it was right in October sometime, 2015. So, been a year and some change. Yeah, I like it because it's it's different I w- and light. My whole thing is, would this taste that much different? You know, right a year ago. Yeah, probably. I you think, think you would have had more hops. Hmm. You think? Because don't hops kind of fade fade the longer they? Sit? I think so. Now the question would have been is would would you have a stronger Brett flavor too? Yeah, I bet you probably would. <clears throat> It's a nice middle of the road. I mean, I really don't taste much hoppiness to it hardly at all. No. <clears throat> no, but like you like you were saying both of you were just saying we got burned tongues. Yeah. So I don't know. Did you guys want to get into the CES stuff? Yeah. We can. Yeah, why not? Uh you know uh the whole <clears throat> consumer electronics show goes on every year. Um and the Las Vegas Convention Center. Yeah. And one of the ones, well, there's a bunch of interesting things. I I just listed about four on our little agenda. I don't know if you guys had any uh, favorites, if you were <clears throat> looking at any of it. I watched some of uh, Engadget's stuff that they had out there. They did like a daily recap each day and best of CES. I looked at the uh, the first two that you have listed here with the the self-balancing motorcycle yeah, yeah that's so, pretty cool yeah I thought it just seemed kind of ridiculous though like what was the what's the point well i guess uh <laughs> technology is available so let's use it i guess i don't know well, it just sure. seems strange it works on magnets does it i don't know <clears throat> no it doesn't really did you watch the video or read the article yeah it uh it the the front forks uh, go out further and then the front wheel keeps going back and forth to like as it starts to sway one way or the other the front wheel huh. moves back and forth it's kind of strange it's not like a magnets or gyro magic come yeah it's it is magic so the only thing i could think of you'd always have your feet then on it you wouldn't because you know every time you see a, a well, kind of bike he'd put his feet down yeah. when he's at a stoplight or whatever. But that's when he's not going forward. Right, right. I mean, if the bike is stationary, I don't see how even turning the wheel yeah. like that would keep it upright. Yeah. To do that, I mean, even you would need some sort of forward momentum, I would think, to do that. Mm. No, it showed it just, st- st- just really? sitting there. Um, I didn't watch the video. And it, like I said, the forks kind of went out further, probably like a good, at least, you know, foot forward. The front wheel went. So that... 
and then it caused it to I guess have a lower center of yep. balance right and then it just it, it was able to kind of just sit there and then that front wheel just kept pivoting kind of back and forth as it needed huh. to so I wonder I wonder if you can feel that in the steering wheel in the handlebars yeah because the handlebar, handlebars were moving too interesting boy that'd be like counterintuitive wouldn't it yeah. Be sitting at a stop right. with your feet on the bike, not on the ground, and, and your yeah. hands doing this. Right. That's weird. Oh, Greg's going to pull up the video there. Yeah, it it just, um, well, it says writing assist. Can you maybe, maximize that screen? Maybe screen? it's one of those things that uh, you just, uh, maybe it's good for a beginner. Oh, I thought you meant the front forks were out, extended all the time. I didn't realize it no, did when it yeah, came to a stop. No, just when it came, comes to a stop. Yeah, look. She, <laughs> see, I don't know. That, that, I don't know if that's real. So she just touches it and Come with it, me. It, it, it follows it. It, it follows, follows like her. Yeah. That part of it, and then it looks both ways like yeah, a dog. No, well, I, that's not real. Oh, that's yeah. real, man. That's real. That's I don't know. Honda innovation. Yeah. And, and then the one right after that, you had the the 4K screens on one laptop. Now, yeah, that, that was yeah. pretty interesting. Did you hear what happened, though? <laughs> no, I the didn't. The laptop got stolen off the floor oh, yeah? at CES. Oh, yeah. really? And they said the company, <laughs> they're pissed off. They're like, okay, this is CES, and someone comes and swipes our single prototype? Give me a break. Yeah, the single one. They were right. saying that um, they haven't even yeah, they haven't even produced any others. It's yeah. just a one. It's a three, folded three screens on a laptop, which is pretty it cool. Is pretty it cool it looking, is yeah. pretty cool. If you see... If you check out the video for this, them, I guess, like, uh, the two at the side kind of slide out from the middle yeah. one. That's what it looks like, yeah. It's got to be really thick, though, right? They were saying it was like the thickness of a brick. <laughs> yeah, I, I could, yeah. <laughs> and twice as heavy. But And now someone owns it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. You know what, though? That, oh, that was interesting. You see that? The touchpad was off to the right. It really is pretty cool, though, because... I don't know about. I'm not much of a gamer, but just having that extra real estate oh, on I a agree. laptop, yeah. you know, yeah. if you're doing video editing yeah. or anything like that, two screens is a almost a must, you know. Right. If you're doing video editing, you would have a Mac, right? Yeah, that's the industry standard. Yeah, that's no. And she was saying that there was like a lot of heat coming out of that. Oh, uh, I bet. <laughs> LCD <laughs> screens put out a ton yeah. of heat. Yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what the battery's got to be like in that thing. Oh, gosh. Because that's the biggest draw on a, on a battery like that is going to be the screen. You put three screens yeah. on there like that. And I was reading some a uh, couple of the comments down below, and they were basically just saying that, like, at this point, it's no longer a laptop. It's really just a computer. Or, Prop. You know, a... A yeah, s- extremely small form factor desktop with three desktop, screens yeah. built into it. Yeah. Yeah, if you had one of those all-in-one <clears throat> unit PCs... It's basically the same right. thing. Yeah. PCs are, are yeah. the iMac. I yeah. mean, basically, you can pick that up, put that anywhere. It's an interesting concept. but And that they're 4K displays, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's It's got to be... For gaming, definitely, that would be nice. For anything else, I think it's a little excessive. You're probably going to have a desktop, you know? Yeah. But, Great, you want to uh, eat my chili? <laughs> What do you want me to? I thought you were gonna oh, take, take one it home. home. No net, yeah. Well, yeah, take it home in your pocket. It's nice <laughs> and warm. Guess. I'm gonna get it home. Just but... sitting on your, on your laptop. Yeah. Right I'll, there. I'll get you a, a, a bag. Uh, bag. All right, thank bag. you. Um, also, uh, Hulu is coming out with a live streaming service. I because saw that. Everyone is doing that now. Yeah, and it's uh, gonna have quite a bit of content on it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They they have all the CBS content. Which uh, and they already have ABC, ESPN, Fox, Fox News, Fox Sports, FX, and the Time Warner channels. Uh, that's CNN, TBS, TNT, Cartoon Network. Uh, they're working with NBC Universal to get some of their channels too. And all they could say right now is it'll be under forty dollars a month. Yeah. They don't really say if there's going to be tiers or don't don't really have any of that information. But uh, it looks like. Uh, you're going to be able to record some stuff, too, which uh, the nice thing is it says if you go to – they give this example. So if you're going to record Seinfeld on TBS, um, on TBS, obviously it's going to have commercials. And uh, when it's syndicated, they cut out a lot of stuff. What it, do you mean? 
So um, the Simpsons does this too. I know there's there's actually scenes taken out to fit more commercials oh, into right. it. Um, so what Hulu will automatically do? It'll see you're recording this episode, and it'll put like uh, the actual episode in your D- if if it's available. Like for for Seinfeld, for example, is available on Hulu all the episodes. So it, you'll be able to get. It'll show, oh, this episode's available huh. on Hulu without any of the commercials or any of that other business. Hmm. Interesting. So, Have they said the price? I read the article, but I don't remember if they've come out with a price. Yeah, all they said is under $40. And that's, you know... In the ballpark of everybody else with this Yeah, point. I mean, Sling's still probably going to be the cheapest. Yeah, but I don't know. There's functionality on Sling that I think is lacking at times. Um, Although I haven't touched it in a year. And um, talking about Sling, they have that's that's another thing. They uh, Dish Network or Sling or whatever you want to call them. Dish has put out Air TV, which is basically an Android TV box. We talked about this a couple weeks ago, right? Did we? No, yeah, I sent him the chat message and he lambasted me. Oh, Why would anybody right, ever right, want right. that? Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, it's a box. That has sling, and you can you can either get it with or without the an, an over the air antenna adapter OTA OTA. Sure. So you can get your your network channels uh, over the air, and they will be, be listed in your sling TV guide. So you know when you f- go through your channels, you see your NBC, CBS, all the channels that you have over the air. And um, the only thing I don't think there's a DVR included with this, which and Sling still has their DVR in beta, so I don't know if it's coming around or not. But it's got Netflix and um, YouTube as got four four K. Oh, there's a four K. There's a four K thing as well. Wow. And since it's Android TV, obviously you're going to be able to get other apps, and they'll probably be updating a lot of things more frequently so what are you using for content now are you still on direct tv greg i was oh for um yeah for i've got direct tv you're still direct happy t- with direct tv now i wouldn't say i'm it it gets the job done or is it still having buffering issues on high, high there's volume? a yeah there's a few times it's not no, I haven't tried Sling in a while, so I can't say that there's... But View took away, um, like, yeah. TV Land and another channel that I watch, so that's why I'm no longer with View. Um, DirecTV now has that, and for for me, it does fine. There, a few times, it'll have a buffering issue, but it'll kind of continue where... Like, if it sits there and buffers, it'll it won't, like crap out it will eventually go back to the video huh hmm. it'll be interesting to see hulu's product and see how i know that performs. see i've got hulu the the no commercial version of that and molly and i use that all the time what are you so paying for that that is twelve dollars so, so if you add up Everything you're using. Oh, for we're content. probably paying you're, way more than yeah, we ever would. You're paying more than you would be for <clears throat> Charter TV. <laughs> Honestly, I have. Well, I would still probably have Netflix, even if I didn't. You right. know, right. but you wouldn't have Hulu. You wouldn't have Direct TV. So those two bills alone put you over what you would pay for chart for one box of Charter TV in your house. Because my Charter bill right now is ninety five dollars a month for one box and internet. So I'm paying sixty plus thirty. Yeah, I guess, but it's the whole convenient. I could watch Direct TV now anywhere. Right. That's a, if you have more than one television in your house. That's the key. And that's what we like about Molly watches Hulu all the time on her iPad. I mean, really? Anytime she's getting ready, she loves the Mindy Show. That's one of her shows that she watch, and it's it's a Hulu exclusive now. Huh. Hmm. But uh, I guess I need to look at Hulu again. I don't know. And it, I mean, they've been around for almost, maybe it's been 10 years. They've been around a long time. Because I had them back. That seems awfully long. I don't know. That's so they're, yeah, you may have to look it up. But they've been around. A, I'm hitting the googs. 
Uh, uh, I, it's 10 year October. Well, not yet 10 years. October 29th, 2007. Wow. So, I mean, they, they've they got a service that's... No, I'm you know, sorry. They've really... They launched for public access March 12th, 2008. Okay. I, I was on one of those beta things because I remember I had it early. Huh. I don't know. Every time I've tried Hulu, I can't... None of the content we watch is on Hulu. And I don't know if really? we're, if we're weird. I, I don't know. It... But I, I just every time I've tried, none of the content that we watch is on Hulu. So I don't know. I need to. I guess I need to try it or look at yours or something. Um. Yeah, I mean it depends. They have a lot of movies on there too. Do they? Yeah. That they, they're. They're. I mean, really, they're so similar to. Here, they. They actually have every. They have all the Disney classics. They just added those. So the in, here's movies. here's going to be the interesting thing. Well, yeah, because they're partners with ABC, right? Yeah. ABC. So, no, ABC owns. Right. 33%. So if Hulu adds live content, like they're going to do, and that includes all of their old content, like Seinfeld, Mindy Project, all that stuff, and the price is under $40 a month for both for both of those products, they're going to run away with the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because their system is... Their system is built well. I mean, I think them... Well, obviously, they're at the top against well, Netflix and, exactly. and Amazon. But here's the thing. Netflix doesn't have live TV. No. So if Hulu is able to combine their old static content, like Seinfeld, and live television, they've got something none of those Sling, DirecTV, none of those other providers have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Hey, Greg... We only have seven minutes left. We only have seven minutes. Where can you find us? Um, you could find us on the Stitcher, the Google Play, and the iTunes. Uh, just search for Stuck in Beta. How can our listeners send feedback, Greg? You can send feedback by going to Stuck in Beta Pod or what? sending an email to Stuck in Beta Podcast at gmail.com and josh you'll respond won't you i will and uh eventually um at mike's suggestion our loyal listener um he suggested that we have a <clears throat> survey and we'll create that eventually <laughs> we need a website you know i was gonna ask you guys should we just kind of read just have new socials for stuck in beta i think so i think so too maybe have a maybe have a website well, do you well, well in. half-ass production could host it for us. Could they? Well, yeah, it'd we probably could, be in that weird language or whatever. Um, we can Mushan. host it. Um, it's Asian. <laughs> yeah, if you want to put it on its own YouTube channel, is that what you're talking about, or no, its he, own? You're talking the. Facebook I was talking about the socials, and, but yeah. we could do that. I mean, we just have to move everything over. Yeah, and we'd have like five lists, <laughs> five subscribers. Well, hey. I think the honestly, <laughs> Grow it independently. I, honestly, I think the more important part of that is Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, myself. That's where everybody right. gets that. And we could just call it Stuck in Beta Podcast, and right. it would be very clear. Right. There wouldn't be right. any confusion to what we do. Right. No, I agree. We're a podcast. I think that's a good idea. But so. I can work on that. Next week. What are we looking to next week? Uh, will we have a new president? Yeah. We will? Yeah. No. No, no it's not uh, yet. It'll be days. on the f- next Friday. Nine oh, he's sworn in next Friday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. I didn't see any of his uh, his chat today. I watched yeah. Obama's uh, yesterday a little bit. I, I was in I was in the one of the vans coming back from lunch, and um, I heard the very end of his press conference, and he said, "Yeah, I'm handing over the the reins of my businesses to my two sons, and hopefully in in four years or eight years, I'm able to look at him and say, you guys did a good job, and if not, I'm going to say you're fired. Like, really? <laughs> oh, did he really? Come on, really? Oh no! Yeah." Yeah, it's like God. Uh, this is what we're gonna have to deal with, huh? Yeah. Sound bites. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Entertainment. So, oh, I don't, what do you got? Well, it's slightly political. I don't know if we should go there. You know how Greg feels about that. Well, you've got you've got the uh, you've got the end of the show. You've got oh, the, okay. The well, I'll make, I'll make it quick. Uh, so, 
There was a big thing yesterday. BuzzFeed came out with a story about Trump that supposedly Russians had a bunch of secret data on him, and it was about his uh, cor- oh cor- yes quirky sexual habits, which, peeing and yeah, yeah peeing on mattresses. Ew. Which turns no, out it wasn't be, him. It was, it was two prostitutes. Yeah, it, it's completely false. Yeah, and it was some dude on 4chan wrote like a like a fan fiction story. It gets even weirder. Apparently. John McCain hates Trump so much that he has been digging for just yeah. weird information, found this on 4chan, and sent it to the FBI and said, here you go, here's weird information on Trump. Really? That came out this afternoon. And yeah, that's weird. our show. <laughs> yeah, and that's our show. <laughs> weird. <laughs>